Welcome back everyone. Columbus Air Force Base welcomes a new commander. Colonel Seth Graham is facing some unique challenges, but he's ready for takeoff. Our newest crew member, Tara Wheeler, has a look at his plans. I am excited to introduce to the community the brand new commander at Columbus Air Force Base, Colonel Seth Graham. Colonel, first, what's it like taking on a, a new leadership role in such an unprecedented time? Yeah, so it's always challenging when you come into a new organization, but uh, with the pandemic, that's an added level of uh, complication. But fortunately, as my in my previous assignment, I was dealing with these exact same things, and so I've got a little bit of experience in how to navigate these waters with the COVID pandemic. Makes the transition a little bit easier. A little bit easier. Um, aside from that, what are some of the challenges uh, you're going to try to tackle here on base? Yeah, so, you know, obviously in the Air Force, we've got a shortage of pilots, and we've had that for a number of years, and so uh, we have a job here to produce uh, pilots for the United States Air Force, and, and we're going to find new and innovative ways to do that, um, and that's something that we'll have to tackle over the next couple of years. And what are some of your goals with that moving forward? Yeah, so goals here, you know, really is just building a, 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 a team uh, that is um, cohesive in, in that mission of, of building the best pilots in the United States Air Force. And you just returned from instructor pilot training yourself. I did. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you learned there that, that you want to apply here in this new role? Yeah, so I got the exact same training that every one of our instructor pilots here that flies the T-38 um, uh, gets. And then obviously they do T-6 and T-1 training as well there. I didn't do that sort of training, just in the T-38. I had the same training as all the instructors that come here. And really all it is is it's, it's a learning how to not only fly the T-38, something that I last did as a student pilot myself 20 years ago, yeah. uh, but now I'm going to be up there flying with students and teaching them how to fly the T-38 as well. So learning all those skills of how to not only do the maneuvers but and, and talk the students through how to do it themselves. And speaking of uh, undergraduate pilot training, the whole mission here is to, to create the best pilots in the world. Absolutely. Uh, for the community out there that might see the planes flying in the sky, but they don't really know what's going on behind it, tell us about what these airmen are going through as they're working so hard to earn their wings. Yeah, this is probably the um, the toughest thing that these pilots will go through in their whole career. Uh, it's a very intensive uh, year-long process that includes uh, academics, testing, flights, simulators, uh, lots of evaluation. So there's an immense amount of stress on, on them to perform. Um, and then also, these are dreams coming true, right? Um, for me personally, in 1986, I watched Top Gun oh and decided boy, as a 12-year-old, yeah, that I was going to be a pilot. <laughs> and so I would imagine a lot of our pilot or our students have those same, you know, lifelong goals. And so there's a lot of stress, right, to be able to achieve that that lifelong goal and to fly the airplane that you've dreamed of flying. And so it's a it's merit-based here. So the better you perform, the more likely you are to, to get to fly the thing that you desire. And so there's competition, there's stress that, that they have to deal with. I can tell you a couple decades after that, my husband watched Top Gun, and now he's here uh, hoping to be one of the best pilots for the, for the Air Force. So yeah. we know you're a busy man. You're taking yeah. on a lot. So appreciate you taking the time to talk with me and look forward to seeing what you'll do here. Well, thanks for being out here. Appreciate it.